All right, this video here is going to be on planes and axes. So uh, I know you've talked about this in anatomy, but we're going to go over this again so that it can really drive this point home and understand uh, this simple concept of biomechanics. So we have three planes, and the axis always goes with the same plane. So first plane I want to go over is the frontal plane, and these sliding doors are going to do a great job of helping demonstrate the frontal plane. So this represents the frontal plane. So again, if I'm standing in the anatomical position with that plane, any motion that would wipe away dust or snow, like a snow angel, is going to be a frontal plane motion. So abduction and adduction of my arm is going to wipe away snow. That's a frontal plane motion. Lateral flexion of my cervical spine. Abduction of my hip. Radial deviation, you can even see that through the glass maybe here. Radial deviation would wipe away and so would inversion and eversion of the ankle. So I might not be able to get down to that one right now, but think about that. Your toes would be pointing forward. They're gonna be moving in and out as well. So abductions and adductions, lateral flexions, uh, some of those deviations are all gonna be in the frontal plane. Now, if you imagine my arm, I'm gonna move this out of the way, going through the frontal plane through abduction, theoretically, this could continue to go all the way around. So there has to be an axis of rotation. This paper represents the axis. So for that to rotate in this circle, the axis has to come this way. So this axis here is the anterior posterior axis. Anterior posterior axis is for all frontal plane motions. Anterior posterior axis, frontal plane motions. Now let's do the sagittal plane. So door again but I'm gonna stand this way. So the sagittal plane would cut me in half this way. So we have shoulder flexion, we have cervical flexion, we have the extensions, hip flexion, knee flexion, knee extension, dorsiflexion, plantar flexion, wrist flexion, wrist extension. All those flexions and extensions are going to occur in the sagittal plane. So if my arm could just keep going around in a circle that way, where would the plane come or the axis be? Right here, medial lateral axis, always for the sagittal plane. <coughs> the third plane for whatever reason is the trickiest because people have the hardest time seeing it. However, uh, it really should be the easiest because anything that's rotation is in this plane and that is the horizontal plane. So if we took this door and cut me this way, that is the horizontal plane. So trunk rotation, cervical rotation, internal and external rotation of the shoulder. It doesn't matter if my elbows are bent, it's shoulder rotation. If it says rotation on it, it's in the horizontal plane. Pronation, supination, doesn't say rotation, but it is a rotation. Look at it, obviously there's rotation. Pronation, supination occur in the horizontal plane. So what is that axis? The vertical axis coming straight down. If I'm gonna rotate my shoulder all the way around, here's the axis straight down. If I'm gonna rotate my cervical uh, spine, there's the axis as I rotate around that axis. So quick review, frontal plane is always gonna be the anterior posterior axis. Sagittal plane is gonna be the medial lateral axis and the horizontal plane for all rotations is the vertical axis.